Hello, I'm Michael Collins. There was someone in our Discord group that asked about doing something like this to make a sticky group in Bubble. And so I just mocked this up. Oh, before I show you that, um, so when we come down to mobile size, the group over there ends up um, over here or a version of that group. So that could just be hiding and the other thing could be showing. Um, so here's my version of it. So here's the header, here's the details, and you notice that it's sticky. And then when we shrink it down, um, I'm hiding this group over here and unhiding this group over here. So let's go ahead and build it. I'll add a new page. And I'm calling it position sticky demo. Upgrading to the responsive page. And I'm going to make this a column. We'll do 1280 and 1280 so we can see everything clearly. Then I'm going to throw on a group. Now I'm not doing the header and footer. So you can do that if you want. Uh, so this is going to be a row. We'll center it. No min width. Uh, we want to constrain it to 1280. Put no height and for now take off the fit height to content. And then I'm going to add padding. So 40 pixels all around. So now I want to do two columns. So we'll call this group the content group. Oops. Co content <laughs> group. Uh, this will be a column. Uh, no min width. Just for the moment, I'm going to do 840. No min height. Oh, but I will need to see it. So we'll do 1280 for now. Uh, and I'm going to do my sticky group. this I'll just call sticky column. I don't really want it to get um, very small so let's say 280 and we'll have the max at 320 and the height at 320. So actually I could do this fixed. Uh, click back on the main wrapper will add some gap. So when it gets down to a certain size, I want it the row gap to be 24. For now, we're going to put the column gap at 40. Okay. So just for us to be able to see this, I'm going to add a color. Do this color. And now I'm going to put in a header, a hero, sorry. So group hero. Oh, could be row, could be column, depending on what you're putting in the hero. No min width, no max width. And let's do this at 640. Uh, let's throw a color on there so we can see it.
So now when it gets down to a certain size, I'm going to hide this group and show what's in that group down here underneath the picture. So I'll need another underneath the hero. I'll need another uh, group. We'll call this the not sticky. Oops. Sticky. Uh, we'll need color. Let's use the same color as the sticky group. a row or a column, probably a column. Doesn't really matter for this demonstration. Uh, 320, just for the heck of it. Okay, so now when page width smaller than I'm going to say a thousand. I want this element to be visible. So for now it's going to not be and it's going to collapse. So then let's add the, pro the product details or whatever it's the content details. underneath. Let's add a color to it. And for now we'll do 800. So we have something to scroll to. Okay. So we have to add a few more conditions. So when the page width less than a thousand, element is not visible. Um, for the wrapper itself, for page width, I'm just going to be changing the padding on the left and right. Make that 24. And the center of the content group page width is smaller than a thousand. We'll change the uh, actually do we do we have to change anything? Let's not change anything for the moment. And let's preview this. Okay. Oh, yep, I do have to change something because it's too small. I think I can just, yep, so let's change that and we should be good to go. Nope. Where else am I constraining this? Well, there's nothing in, there's no content in the groups. So if I have a, a min width of zero, it's just going to collapse. Um, so what I'm going to do, uh, when it's a thousand, why would it collapse? I'm not sure why it would collapse. Min width. 
hundred percent max width. This is infinite. So we really don't have to change that. Okay. Let's see if this worked. Yep. Okay. So we see that this group now disappears and this one shows up. But of course right now it's not sticky. So let's go make it sticky. So I'm going to pop HTML element on it, bring it to the top. Just going to rename this style. I'm going to open up my Atomic Fusion um, extension, go to my code locker, go to my CSS snippets. Copy, paste, and then I am going to not show this on page load and collapse it. Oops. Oh, I have to name this. Not name it, but I have to put the uh, ID. So I have an ID of sticky. There we go. Yay. Yay. And that's it. Thanks.